Hey folks, Gwe. This morning in my reading, I stumbled across an article on CBN News. And in this article, um, they quoted a Senate hopeful from Ohio by the name of J.D. Vance. He's an author, wrote a book in 2016 called Hillbilly Elegy. I haven't read it. Uh, he's a Republican and he's looking for a seat in, in federal politics as a, as a senator. The article quotes him as saying that we need to allow conservatives and Christians to actually live their values, to live according to what they believe. And he goes on in the article to say that, I think people are really worried about censorship. They're really worried whether at their workplaces or on social media, can they actually speak their mind? Can they actually speak about Christian values without being shut down? I really like this question. I really like this question probably for a different reason than, than many do. Because the answer to this is, yes, they absolutely can share their Christian values. They absolutely can share the message of Jesus Christ without being shut down. Throughout history, people have tried to shut down Christians. They've tried to stop the message of Jesus Christ from getting out in the world. And it strikes me that the more energy somebody has put into this effort, the more it's backfired. We see throughout history that during times of great persecution, during times where, where Christians have actually been persecuted, we're not, by the way, being persecuted today in any way, shape, or form. But when Christians have been persecuted in whatever part of the world, you've actually seen the faith grow. It's, it's a really interesting thing that happens. As leaders, as authorities, as rulers have tried to, tried to crush Christianity in their areas, it's actually grown. by like leaps and bounds actually grown, become incredibly strong, become incredibly powerful. So Christians, we don't actually have to worry about being silenced. At least we don't have to worry about our voices not being heard. Because in those places where Christianity is persecuted and we see growth, we don't see people on the street corners professing their faith. We don't see people trying to enact laws that keep others from doing or living the way they want. What we see are a group of believers who refuse to stop living by the core message of Jesus Christ. Because that core message of Jesus Christ isn't something that has to be spoken. As a matter of fact, coming back to his first quote, we need to allow conservatives and Christians to live according to their values we share the message, we share the gospel of Jesus Christ, we share that core, most important, so simple message. Love God by loving your neighbors, by actually doing it. We can absolutely, we as Christians, as people of faith, as people of love, we can absolutely live according to our values. And nobody can ever stop us in, Again, when people have tried to stop us, the faith has grown and become strong and wonderful and powerful, and in most cases, important and relevant to the people around them. Oh, see, the thing that we actually have to worry about as a church is not that somebody is going to persecute us and keep us from expressing our belief in Jesus Christ or expressing our love of God. That's not what we have to worry about. Again, historically speaking, the thing that those real, those real conquerors of the faith have come to understand is they don't want to actually silence us. They want to manipulate us. They want to offer the message of Jesus Christ with a slight twist. A slight twist that, hmm, we think that that works. And it's through that little twist that they end up gaining control over the faith. Those rulers, those leaders end up gaining control over the faith. And then they use the congregation of the faith 
They use the body of Christ. They use that great cloud of witnesses, those saints, to their own ends, for their own purpose, for their own prosperity. They end up using the church to do really, really horrible things, really, really unchrist like things. This is the great danger the church is in. Whenever somebody's tried to silence us, we've grown and we've prospered. That's not necessarily something that we should be afraid of. What we should be afraid of is those who are trying to manipulate us, those who attach their idols to our core belief system, those who attach their ideologies to our core belief system, those who attach national identity and politics to our core belief. The Christian message, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and body by loving your neighbor. That can't be trumped. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that even if someone comes along and tries to silence you, tries to repress, tries to oppress your message of love and unity and solidarity, message of sharing and giving and compassion and mercy and forgiveness, even if somebody is silly enough to come along and try to silence you, that you will go on loving your neighbor as yourself, as God has asked you to do. And then I pray you'll just watch things bloom because they always have and they always will. Amen. Nemultus.